Hello guys, um, it's Comet Star here, and I'm going to show you a method for killing them. Um, Dungeon Guardian. Dungeon Guardian. All you really need is the Phantasm. So, sorry about all the noise in the background. Um, people are playing Mario Kart. <laughs> Looking over there, running into a little. So, I'm just going to head over there now. Um, so you go to the dungeon, and you basically just dig this place straight down. Um, I use the pick saw, wow. you can use anything to dig down that's past the dungeon. So you can like dig through the dungeon bricks, and you just dig straight down. Sorry, I might tell them to turn it down. Okay, there we go. So you'll see I have already got the bone key. This is my best character, and it's just in here. Someone's a baby skeleton head. And, okay, unless you're using the tactic of mega defense, or you can survive a hit from the Moon Lord, I wouldn't really do, um, I wouldn't really use, um, any, uh, um, well, you could, okay, you can use any armor set you want. I'm using the Nebula for this fight battle, for this fight, because um, the armor bonus, um, if you do have to turn around, this is very unlikely. Um, hurting enemies has a chance to spawn buff boosters. I repeat, I will repeat this over and over again. Do not have a summon. It messes up your damage with the Phantasm. It will mess up your damage. Don't have a summon out. And you just get crazy damage if you use the Phantasm along with the arrows that you get from the Moon Lord. What are they called? Luminite. Yeah, Luminite arrows plus this is incredible. And also, I would suggest any flying mount, like the drill containment mount. Well, you can't attack in this, so... The only real mount you can have is the Cosmic Khaki. It's the only mount I would really suggest because the other one um, you can't attack in. So I would only really suggest this almost for each great parts of the dungeon, but it looked on the map, luckily. So we don't want to get hit by these guys. I'm using the Ankh Shield in case I run into any things that you know spawn in the night and they might mess me up. So all you literally do, wait for this guy to come, and you'll see he just stays there. I got a very good start here. And you just fly straight out and start shooting him. And the Phantasm is good for this because look how, look how many ones and twos you're getting here. Because of the Luminite arrows, the extra bonus. And look what happens if we take our summon out. When he's hitting, it destroys our damage. So you don't want to summon. You want to just use this. Sometimes you might want to use the last prism because it's kind of fun to use. I like the last prism. But stick to this. I don't have any arrows to show you. It only takes about 100 arrows. And look how far his health is down. So I'll just talk to amuse you here. People losing. Um, you can use this, I do not recommend it though, because look how slow the damage is. And you're going to get to the end of the map, where it's kind of hard to turn. You turn around by doing this, you kind of go up and then you switch your arrow key momentum very fast, it's very hard. And then you can kind of turn around and, I'm just going back on my trail because I want to. So I'm just going to go under this floating island. If you run into any floating islands, try and go under or above them. It did take me a couple of tries, a couple being around five other tries to do this. And actually only about three maybe before I got the Dungeon Guardian pet. The second time I killed him, which is now this will be the second time I kill him, if I do kill him this time, then... It'll be the second time I've got the bone key. I wonder what you can sell it for. Let's just go down here. 
and you'll see, we should see the house I've built a bit here. Yeah, here we go. So we're gonna try and sell the bone key and see how much it sells for. I've got a trick. But we're gonna kill him first to get the bone key, obviously. Um so you just kinda stand here and just Hold down D and hold down left mouse button, and that's all you really have to do with the phantasm. Because if you look at the firing la lane here, here, it's so fast. So I'm nowhere near the end of the map, I'm like around the middle. And I got, as soon as I kill him, I will start one hit. So we are about here when we killed him. So yeah, we take about that much of the map. Um, so we'll just go down here and here's the bone key. Here we go. Um, and then of course this will summon the Thunder Guardian pet. It's the coolest pet ever to show that you've killed the dungeon guardian. So that's how to kill the dungeon guardian. I know I am quite late game in this, but you know, if you want to kill the dungeon guardian pretty easily, that's how you do it. So, yeah, bone key, how to get the bone key really easy. Um, you could use this, it may work. I don't think it would work very well, but so, also in this video, we'll quickly um, figure out how much this sells for. The merchant glows. I know he doesn't. He was just standing in front of the furnace. So let's see how much this sells for. So let's be paper. Get on today. Yeah, five gold. Pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So this pet's. An amazing pet is really cool. It's probably my favorite pet in the game, and that is why I like him so much because he's just like the coolest pet ever. Okay, I got to find book is that. So I very recently got this. I love this man. This I just passed the Oh wait, this is one of my survival ones. Yep. Let's play. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> okay, um. But seriously though, I just love this way too much. I just got 259 wood. I like the cursed sapling as well, by the way. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. This is Comet Star out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do something like that. So that's me, Comet Star, signing out. Bye.